So these are the responses that you've given me. Perfect. Okay, here we go. Let's see who's on the leaderboard here. All right, Rayan. All right, impressive. Arthur, well done. Hey, welcome back to Bear Squared on this channel with Simplify Educational Tech. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can use a word cloud, but an interactive word cloud. So check this out. We're going to go ahead and go to mentimeter.com. I'll put a link in the description below. You can check that out, mentimeter.com. So go to mentimeter.com. You'll come to here and then you can go ahead and sign in. Now, this is absolutely free. You don't need to have a premium account or anything. You can sign in for free. I'm just going to go to my presentations. You can sign in with your Gmail. You don't need to remember your login credentials. Just sign in with Gmail. And here we are. I've got some presentations. Now, how you start is you just go ahead and start a new presentation. And then you can give the presentation a name. I'm just going to call this number sets. Go ahead and create that presentation. And then from here, what you can do is go ahead and choose the type. Now, this isn't just active word clouds. It has different uh, options as well. So you can do like popular question types, multiple choice, word cloud, open ended, scales, ranking, q and I've done a lesson um, last week and I asked the students, hey, what part, did, what part of the lesson did you like? Did you enjoy? They really enjoyed this part, the interactive sort of word cloud, multiple choice sections. And if I just go to the content here, my first question was share three words that describe quadratic functions. So entries per participant, there were three entries per participant. You can change this, by the way. I can make it two entries or five entries. I like three. It gives them, uh, you know, a few options to do this. So share three words that you describe that describe a quadratic function. That was my first question. And this was a word cloud. So this generated a word cloud. And then my second question here, which function is quadratic? So this is my question, what function here is quadratic? And then I input my options here and you have to select the right answer to this question. See, it's a bit like Kahoot where you're answering questions, you get points based on that. And then there's a leaderboard attached to the question. Okay, and then I had, hey, do you wanna ask me any questions? So my, my question was, what would you like to know about quadratics? So they can ask questions here. I'm gonna go ahead and play this one. I'm gonna show you what it looks like. So I'm gonna go ahead and present. This is the question, and as I present this, I'm going to be presenting it in a Google Meet because we're online at the moment. It says here, go to www.menti.com and use the code. So let me go ahead on my iPad here. I'll just put it in frame. It's just menti.com, and then I'm going to put in the code here. So let me go ahead and add the code, submit that code. Okay, so here's the question that pops up. They don't actually even need to see this. The question pops up. It says, share three words that describe a quadratic function. So let me just say here, it's a parabolic curve opening upwards. So I can add emojis as well. And it does work. It will come up as well. So if I go ahead and submit this, you'll see that this would immediately populate some of those words, the phrases that the students uh, populated here. I can go ahead on this side and I can also do it on a phone. Vertex form, go ahead and submit. As I submit that, it's adding to my word cloud. Because I had the Q&A open up in all sections, they can open up Q&A here and ask me a question. What's the use of quadratics in real life? So I'm asking this question to the teacher. I'm gonna go ahead and submit that. Uh, the question is, is gone. And now if I look over here on my iPad here, that question pops up here. I can always click on it and I can see, hey, what's the use of quadratic functions in real life? Other students can upvote this as well. This student can open up Q&A. Maybe they've got a question. They can see what's available, the recent ones. What's the use of parabolic in real life? You know what, actually, I wanna upvote that. I'm gonna vote on that. You know, maybe the teacher's gonna respond if there's more upvotes on that question. Let's move on to the next part. Let's say I'll close out this question now. And I'm, I'm happy with the word cloud, it's done. Everyone's participated. Uh, I'm gonna move on. So here's a question that uh, pops up. And my second question here, if you see, uh, populates on both the devices as well. It says question one, and it's gonna come up. So it says press enter to start the countdown. So here we go, I'm gonna press enter. And now the question gets populated. They've got 30 seconds to answer this. And then my question pops up. What function is quadratic? They can see it on their devices. They can see the timers coming up here. So I'm gonna collect on one, select one here. I'm gonna select one here. And that those responses are gonna populate here. So everyone has voted. And now you can see on the corresponding devices, correct answer, wrong answer. And if I press on the next one, so I go to the next slide, the leaderboard would come up. And here it's gonna, you know, whoever participated here, you can see the point score. 
and who's on the leaderboard. So here we go. Goat voted and got 765 points. That's awesome. You get some feedback here as well with Sparklings. Okay, some celebration page. They can go ahead and post that if they wanted to, or we can just move on. So let's move on. And so this leads me to my last page, which was the Q and A's that I did here. And here's a question. It says, what use is there for quadratic Athletics in real life? This is wonderful. This is really awesome to do uh, the word cloud, especially when you're doing uh, a lesson start or an icebreaker. So I'm going to show you this in action that I've used in class on Google Meet. You can get a feel of it. So this is what I want you to do. I'm sharing my screen. Um, I want to just quickly start off by doing a uh, really quick um, word cloud. Okay, just seeing uh, how much you know about quadratic functions. I want you to go ahead and share three words that describe a quadratic function. Go to, look at the instructions here. I want you to go to meti.com and then use the code to import your data here. So I've got someone who wrote uh, semicircle, someone wrote identical, y intercept, x intercept, vertex. I like that. I'm still waiting for one or two of you, but let's move on nonetheless. So these are the responses that you've given me. Perfect. Okay, here we go. It says which function, which function is quadratic and there's three bars at the bottom, yeah? I, I can see two of you here have got it correct, which is brilliant. Let's use on the leaderboard now. All right, Rayan. All right, impressive. Arthur, well done. Okay, awesome, awesome, good job. 